Recent disasters have created a sense of vulnerability America hasn't known since Pearl Harbor. We want to know we're in good hands again, that there are dedicated people working to make sure we're safe. These are the men and women who risk their lives to save yours. We train nonstop. They work themselves to death just getting out there and being able to do and perform. You have to train as if someone's life depends on it because it does. You stay with your eyes on the fire. Right now they suspect two fires, one on either side of the building on the first floor. And they're going to go in, investigate, to make sure there's no victims present, search the area for victims, and they're going to go move on to extinguish and contain the fires. They'll be able to hear everything we say. And everything is as safe as possible for them to make entry. The more training we go to citywide, the more fires we go to, it just makes everything go so much smoother. And you, at first you might not attribute that to the training, but when you sit down and look at it, it's all the training that makes it smooth.